children of God. When I was a boy growing up in the 1950s, still in my preschool years, I watched a lot of television shows and old movies about World War II. I remember going to San Francisco and sitting in the back seat of my father's car with my father driving and my mother beside him. I noticed as we were stopped at a crosswalk that there were a number of Oriental people about. Look, I said, there's a Jap, and there's another one, and there's another one. My father looked at me sternly. Jap is a pejorative term. It's a racial slur. Those people you are pointing at are Oriental people, and they're also Americans, just like you and me. They call them Japs in the movies. John Wayne calls them Japs. You are better than that. You are a child of God. You need to hold yourself to a higher standard. You need to give people a chance, get to know them, try to understand them. Now, my father is in a nursing home dying from the head down. His body is still strong, but his memories corroded, his personality falling apart. When other people look at him, they see somebody who is a behavioral problem or even a threat. And the nursing staff administers to him large doses of major tranquilizers to keep them in line. Yet, when I see him, I see a man who once understood what it is to be a child of God. I see a person who believed that he was called to treat all people with love and dignity as if they too were children of God.